A new bill before the state legislature would ban puppy mills and the retail sale of dogs and cats. It's an issue we've been following for more than a decade. Investigator Katie Weiss first reported about the Humane Pet Act. That was back in September after a pet store in Westminster was believed to have sold sick puppies from a puppy mill. Right now, Katie is at a launch party for that bill hosted by Representative Monica Duran. Katie, it does seem to be getting a lot of traction. Jim, it sure is. Even the first gentleman is standing behind her bill, and he's planning on being here tonight as well. And although there's a lot of support for this bill, it's still a contentious issue. It really breaks my heart. Jennifer Woods said her puppy Jax got sick three days after she bought him for her 10 year old son's birthday from this Westminster pet store. Jax died two weeks later of distemper. You don't want to tell your son that. I'm sorry, but Jax is not coming home with you. That store has since closed, but Woods is one of dozens of people in the Denver Metro in the last couple of years who said they bought a puppy from a pet store only for it to get sick and die days later. It's sad just knowing that it's hundreds of other puppies. Representative Monica Duran proposes a solution. We call it the Humane Pet Act. She says it will eliminate the puppy mill trade in Colorado. It also limits the number of dogs and cats that can be bred. It also limits how many times in a lifetime or in a year they can be bred. And by banning the retail sale of puppies and kittens, Duran says the bill will also stifle the demand for puppy mills out of state. What would you say to critics? who say that your bill could put small pet stores out of business. Times are changing, and this isn't going to put them out of business. What it's going to do is make them uh, look at things a little different. And right now, I think most of them sell pet supplies, pet food. A lot of them will do uh, grooming. But Perfect Pets store owner Jens Larsen says it would be tough to compete with big pet supply chain stores. He says 80% of his sales are puppies. I feel the bill will not only hurt you know my business and put me out of business but i also feel like that bill will not do anything to curtail what the humane society depicts as a puppy mill larson says he gets dogs from large breeding operations but he only does business with usda certified breeders not all are created equal so don't lump everybody together just because one person is doing it wrong. Woods is hopeful for a solution. I just hope that it just doesn't happen anymore. It's putting a lot of puppies and families in pain. And the party is just getting started here at Oasis Brewing. I'm told that speeches will begin in about a half an hour, and we'll be here throughout the evening and bring you a full report on CBS tonight at 10 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Denver, I'm Katie Weiss, covering Colorado First.